Welcome to a Psych 312 project on the fundamental attribution error. This panda will be your guide. Brought to you by Group 21. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. The fundamental attribution error is a tendency to overestimate the extent to which other people's behavior is due to internal dispositional factors and to underestimate the role of situational factors. In other words, people tend to attribute someone's behavior to their personality rather than the situational forces that may have influenced them. Breaking this definition down, one can see that there are two basic attributions, internal and external. When we attribute a person's behavior to their disposition or personality, we call this internal attribution. When we attribute the person's behavior to the situation that the person may be in, we call this external attribution. So you ask, how do we make internal attributions versus external attributions? Here's a handy flowchart for how we make attributions. Now for an example. This is Joe, and this is Poe. They both enrolled into Panda Sensei's class this semester. Poe goes to class. Joe doesn't. Panda Sensei is mad at Joe for committing this horrible sin every time his class is held. And in Roll's exam day, it's a class on massaging panda proctors or something. Poe and Joe receive their results the next day. Poe does well. Joe, on the other hand, doesn't. Poe internally attributes this and blames Joe's laziness, since all Poe knows about Joe is that Joe skips class. Poe made the fundamental attribution error. Panda Sensei knows better than to judge Joe as lazy for just missing class. He knew better after finding out about Joe's situation. Joe's mom got hit by a car. Joe had to leave early for the part-time job he took up to pay for his mother's treatment. Panda Sensei was a regular at that restaurant. Remember this? This is a two-step process of attribution. Step one is specifically regarding making an internal attribution about the peer, based on the observations that were observed. Poe stopped at the first step of attribution and made an internal dispositional attribution to Joe's behavior. Looking back at the two-step process of attribution model, one can go on to step two if he or she has the time, energy, and motivation to think more and consider other explanations. One can therefore consider both internal and external attributions to account for the behavior. Panda Sensei made it through to the second step of attribution. Panda Sensei adjusted initial attributions to take into account outside causes to form an external attribution. Thanks for watching. Created using Powtoon.